Indonesia is the world's largest island country. Consisting of 25% of farming area, the agriculture sector is crucial in boosting Indonesia's economy. Indonesia plans to increase rice production by 7.7% in 2022. Semantok's Dam Project is one of the national strategic projects in Indonesia, located in Semantok River Stream, Nganjuk District. The cost of this project about 87.9 million US dollar, with the total main dam's length 3.1 kilometers climbed as the longest dam in Southeast Asia. We start beam implementation with digital survey named photogrammetry as the basis for existing conditions on the site to be superimposed with the planned beam model. The utilization of photogrammetry in this project simplifies the geometric information need, including the spatial position and elevation of land contour and temporal information related to change in object from time to time. Digital survey using telestrial laser scanner and drone mapping was undertaken before the construction start. This photogrammetry method able to capture plus minus 360 hectares of dam areas quickly and efficiently compared to the semi-manual method. Before the construction phase begins, 3D models were made to obtain the same visualization to see the project overview. The 3D models contain information that can be integrated into various platforms. BIM helps us to avoid the same misinterpretation. As we know, project delay is one of the biggest problems in construction industry. 4D scheduling facilitated us to integrate our schedule into the 3D model to produce scheduling visualization. The simulation in Navis works represent the method and steps of the construction. BIM 5D is used to deliver quantity takeoff from the 3D BIM models. The output can be used by the project manager to control the project budget by controlling the procurement. BIM 5D also plays an important role when a decent change occurs. These methods are beneficial for us since we could estimate the budget change with the automatically generated volume for the BIM 3D models. Engineering challenge happened during the construction of Smantok Dam. The initial design was inapplicable to the existing soil which is a sandy soil type. We used Plexus 2D to undertake the foundation alternatives. The soil analysis from Plexus 2D revealed the use of second pail was effective for the sandy oil. By doing engineering analysis, this project can avoid rework on site and capture a value up to 200 billion rupiah. For BIM 7D, we prepared an asphalt model with LOD 500. This BIM model contains plenty information that will be useful for the operation and maintenance phase. Our 3D model is not only limited to geometrical information, but also allowed us to input non-geometrical information, such as manufacturer's name, fabrication date, material on-set date, print object, and other information needed. This feature enables us to change the Project Information Modeling or PIM into Asset Information Modeling or AIM for the handover process. One of Architecture, Engineering, and Construction or AEC industry's greatest challenge is Information Management. We use Common Data Environment or CDE as a coordination system with the stakeholders to solve this problem. We use Autodex BIM 360 as our authoring tools. By implementing CDE on the project, it facilitates us to collaborate with stakeholders effectively. Slow coordination and misinterpretation on communication will obstruct project schedule. Therefore, to hinder us from those obstacles, we use GIS. In this dashboard, the stakeholder could see the geospatial data combined with the model. In addition, this dashboard also allowed us to integrate the digital survey outputs such as orthophoto, progress photo, project videos, real-time CCTV until the monthly progress curve and time remaining days on the project. For there, this integrated GIS dashboard not only functions to combine various data, 
but it is far beyond it. This technology has assisted the decision maker in estimating the project performance and improving the future decision making with support the innovation and sustainable infrastructure of the sustainable development goals. Lean management are important to reduce inefficiency on project life cycle. Use the lean management concept to minimize the flow activity of the design process. We do lean design to avoid inefficiency in our project, such as class. We try to identify the existing flow activity of design process and classify the process activity into three ways identification. That is value added, non-value added, and essential non-value added. We use Navis Word Manage with 4D feature to solve this challenge. 3D model that we use allow us to do automatic calculation, combining BIM and Lean management enhance the efficiency on the project by reducing human error and efficient the man hour by fasten the process compared with traditional approach. By implementing BIM on this project, we gain benefit and value such as Digital survey using TILS, drones, PIX4D, AGSoft, Metasep. 3D modeling using Autodex Revit Project monitoring with BIM 4D Budget control with BIM 5D 6D BIM engineering analysis 7D of BIM CDE Integrated data with GIS dashboard Lean management Utama Karya perceives that building information modeling is no longer the future. Instead, it's our need today and tomorrow towards a better construction.